So a Jalen Brunson 40 piece. Show me the money, ladies and gentlemen. That'll that'll cost you. That that just costs you a couple extra mil uh, on oh, the signing man. table. A 40 piece in game two. 41 points for Jalen Brunson. Eight boards, five dimes, two steals. Are you not entertained? And this is a guy who fans say they don't want. <laughs> Look, man. This is a guy they I, don't want. What are we missing here? Tell me. I don't know. What are we missing here? Look, man, I, uh, I, to, uh, the last post game of the regular season, I made the case for why you'd want to go with Emmanuel quickly as a starting point yeah. guard. I'm still going to stick behind that. Okay. I'll stick behind that. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to waver. Look, I think he's earned it based on how he finished off the season, uh, improving the amount of times he's driving to the basket, the way he was able to use layups. You know, we still need to see a mid-range game for him, but the way he was orchestrating the offense, sure. I'm I and, and everything, all that. I'm cool with allowing Man, Emmanuel quickly going into next season, especially since he's on his rookie contract and he's already in house. You don't have to move any assets for him. But the disrespect for Jalen Brunson is mind-boggling. The kid can hoop. Yeah, it's gonna, it's I just crazy, don't know. Man. I, I just don't know what you have to give up to get him. Right. I know it's going to be a sign and trade. That's my. If it's too much. You don't have to do it. You got a manual quickly. Yeah, yeah. But if the price is right, if you're the New York Knicks, I get why you're, I get why you're intrigued. Look, I, I think, you know, and, and I've been on board with, with quickly starting since the, since the Kemba debacle started. So I'm, I'm always on board with quick starting. I don't mind it. I think it's something that we should have been evaluating and, and he should have had an extended look this season. That The opportunity was there. The chance was there. Doesn't seem like the organization believes that's his role. Because to me, if, if they did, I think Tibbs would have put him there. But on the Brunson thing, I, I feel like, <clears throat> like I said, I'm good with quick. With Brunson, I just got to know the price. What does Dallas want? What does Brunson want in terms of a contract? What does Dallas want in terms of the trade? What does Brunson, what does Brunson want in terms of dollars? Is it closer to 17 is it closer to twenty? What you know? What does Dallas want? They they need size, as it's indicative in this series, as we see in this series. Mm-hmm. They need size. You know, it, is it a Mitch thing? Is it a is it a is it a package with Sims and some picks? Uh, you know, probably probably some more. You you maybe maybe put a McBride. I don't know what it, what is the price there. He's got Conley on him. He's got right now. He's got Daniel House on him. Maybe the Spider guarding him at, at times. This kid's getting buckets out there. Already shown that he can play with a high play off of a high usage player in a Luka Doncic. Takes care of the ball, steady hand, as most Nova players are. Came from a great program. Fall, you know, pedigree and all of that. The relationship is there with the Knicks. I think they were there to see him. And we'll see what happens, man. You know, I gotta see what the price is. I, I would not mind it. I'm good with quick. But I, I would not mind this this move either because I, I don't think the next point guard is coming via the draft. You've seen a lot of mock early mock drafts pointing to Ty Ty Washington. I don't necessarily see that. You know, we'll we'll see what happens. I, I think I think Brunson could be a legit option, man. I mean, I like Brunson. As you said, he's a steady hand. He's a good scorer. You can see that he's able to play off of a, a weeding score, a weeding ball handler like Luka Doncic. There's nothing wrong with having Jalen Brunson. He's not going to be the solution for your team, but he will definitely help even it out. And I think that that itself is undervalued. Just having a steady hand, someone who's consistent, you know what you're getting from them on a night in and night out basis, and someone that can organize the troops. I don't know how you yeah. wouldn't want that on a team from just like a good basketball standpoint. Like yeah. it's not everyone that we're trying to trade for is going to be that star that will take you over the hump or will just right. take you to make put you in that stratosphere of like championship contending teams. Sometimes you have to figure out fi- or, and find the puzzles in order to make that work just moving forward. And even just having something competent for these guys. Like we've seen, you know, over the last couple of years, not having a legitimate point guard. And we've seen down the stretch, like if we don't have Derrick Rose like this season, everyone just doesn't know what to do. At least with Jalen Brunson, you know, he can tell everyone what to do and kind of keep that ship steady. So how does Tibbs view uh, a Brunson? I think that that's a million dollar question, along with, you know, how his defense is. But I, I think you hit the nail on the head. I think a lot of fans, we're all guilty of it. We, we look at, you know, these free agent acquisitions and, and we want we want the answer. We want the solution. We want the guy that, you know, can can end all of our problems. 
We've seen how much of a disaster this past free agency was, or, you know, lackluster, if you will. So you look at a guy like a brunch and you say, you know, he hasn't been an all-star. He's, he, he's not the shiny thing. Is it a mistake paying him all that money? And I think sometimes you got to look at it as how does the part complement the whole? And like I said, I, I feel like he has skill sets that can certainly help our team. For sure. At I mean, the right look, price. At the right price. 